Yep, it's loud. We're recording a podcast. There's a guy over there paving. There's a Denny's there. There's a road there. There's a lake back there. And it's all good because we get to say, welcome to episode 64 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and today I'm coming to you from the road. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. So it's kind of an interesting backdrop today because I am pounding the pavement promoting ClarityCon, the conference that I'm putting on Rochester, New York on May 8th, which is the day after this podcast is going to come out. If you're not coming, it's your last chance. Reach out, hit me up. I'll still get you a ticket even though ticket sales have closed. I'll make sure you get in. ClarityCon, May 8th in Rochester, New York. One day event for dealers, branding, marketing, company culture. Aside from that, I'm out on the road it's cold out here. It's wet, as you can see on the table. My butt's getting wet because this bench is as wet as the table. And the point is that if you want to do something, you have to be willing to put in the work. And you can't get fancy. You can't look, we got fancy, we got cords everywhere. You can't get fancy. You can't get lazy. You can't get entitled. You can't stop being empathetic to the people who are on the journey with you. And guess what? It's incredibly incredibly difficult when you try to do something in life in general that's worth anything so if you're listening to the show to the podcast if you're watching the show if you're seeing this on a post and you're in a, in a point where like you're a little tired or you think like man this is harder than I thought or you're a little demotivated or you need a little shot of encouragement let me tell you that I'm in the same boat and let me tell you that this is just the way it is in life So you have two choices. I talk all the time. You get to decide what you do with the situations that are presented to you. You don't get to pick the situations, but you get to pick how you respond to it. So today, what is your choice? Right now, my choice is to sit on a wet picnic bench and record a podcast while I'm on the road, while a lot is going on, while my team's back at the office and I have to get back in the car and go over some things with them. It's hard. I'm going to be in the car for five hours today, driving out to Buffalo, Buffalo, New York from Syracuse, New York to stop by and maybe get to talk to some people. Guess what? Not too fancy for it. Guess what? That's what it takes to do anything that matters. If, if you're an employer, if you're, if you're a boss, people don't work for you. People work for their families first, and then they work for maybe the people around them that are close friends. They work for the things that they want. And so the principle of work, the principle of it taking effort to get something, I guess this is a little sidebar. So first, first thing I wanted to talk about is don't be too fancy. Don't be afraid of the work. Don't expect it to be easy and be willing to do what it takes. Don't complain. Don't feel bad for yourself. Be willing to do what it takes because guess what? There are a lot of other people out there, a lot of people in this podcast community, in this Clarity Compressed podcast community specifically, that believe these things. So draw some energy from it. Draw some encouragement from it. Draw some energy in the fact that you're not by yourself and the people that have surrounded this community, they just tend to have the same mindset because that's how we roll. Next thing, talking about work. And, and I'm just speaking out of things that are happening in my life right now and things that I've experienced running a business for 17 years, um, raising a family and having uh, you know a marriage for 17 years, actually almost 18. Um, let me tell you this. It takes a lot of work to keep things aligned. It takes a lot of work to keep things moving forward. It takes a lot of work to keep the communication flowing. You can't have alignment without communication because if you're not talking, if you're not working out your feelings, your frustrations, your dreams, your thoughts, if you're not working those things out by communicating them, if you're not doing that, guess what? No alignment. Breakdown. Why? Because you can't be empathetic to someone's feelings and situation if you're not listening. And we're in a growing business right now Um, Congruent is a growing business. It's growing a lot faster than the first business I built. So guess what? Like 
we're feeling the growing pains. Communication is a challenge because we have so many moving pieces and we're feeling the stress. There are people on my team that are feeling the stress. I'm feeling the stress. But it's not that you can, you know, anesthetize yourself from the stress. You can't do it. But what you can do is be willing to address it and talk about it. And everyone else gets to decide too whether or not they want to address it and talk about it and grow through it. And so as I'm out here at this picnic table with my butt getting wet in front of this lake that I just happen to be driving by on my way to pound the pavement to try to sell, try to hustle, try to grow this business, try to you know provide for the people that matter to me, for my team who depends on me, as that happens, I'm just like kind of thinking of all these things today. And I'm thinking about the things that matter. And I hope that you are thinking about the things that matter. And they're different for everybody in different seasons. Sometimes it's business, sometimes it's personal, sometimes it's a relationship, uh, sometimes it's just enrichment, sometimes you just wanna ride a motorcycle. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, just know that it's okay. Just know that it's okay. I guess I'll start there. Know that it's okay. It's okay to feel a little discouraged. It's okay to have friction. Honestly, a lot of people try to go through life to remove friction from their life at all cost. And I think that that's never realistic, number one. But number two, that that's not really good for a growing human being. Someone who wants to grow mentally and emotionally, relationally, professionally. Like you can't grow without the friction. So episode 64 is really about the friction and it's about being willing to engage the process and engage the friction. I know sometimes it's like a broken record because I talk about a lot of the same things um, because I stay in that lane and I'm just talking from my experience and talking from what I observe the experience of a lot of people to be in life and in business and in relationship. It's friction. So you might be at work right now, you might be driving somewhere listening to this, you might be walking the dog, you might be reading, you know, sitting on a porch, I don't know, working out maybe, getting a little healthy. Whatever it is, I know that there's friction in your life. I know there's friction in your business. I know there's friction in your personal development, your professional development. I know this. It's, I have it too. I have it right now. I have it while I'm recording this. This Sitting down, being willing to do this, being willing to be on the road, being willing to engage the people um, in my life that are having a hard time, turn into it face to face. This is really where it's won and lost. And that split microsecond between stimulus and response and that split microsecond between when things happen to you and you get to choose your response to them. This podcast is a flag in the ground. It's one of those moments. I hope that you, whatever situation you are in right now, you choose to make it one of those moments. Will you choose communication? Will you choose alignment? Will you choose growth? Will you choose to put off entitlements, to put off the expectation that for some reason it's going to be easy? Will you choose to do that? If you're in business, you don't get to choose what the market does. You don't get to choose what technology does because they're just gonna do what they're gonna do. The only thing you can choose to do is respond well, to respond in a forward way. And sometimes failing is forward. So, you know, if you're discouraged because stuff isn't working or stuff hasn't worked, that's okay. Fail forward. Failing is a part of growing. Falling down is a part of walking. Falling off your bike is part of being a good bike rider. Losing money is part of being a good business person or entrepreneur or investor. Disappointing customers is part of becoming a better business because now you know what you need to fix. Having friction and tension within your team is a part of growing an amazing company culture because without the friction, you can't gel. Without the friction, you can't find out what really works, what really doesn't, what really drives people, what really motivates them, and what can make you a really great boss or a really great company to work for. Friction is a part of all of that. So today, I'm talking about that. Today, I'm speaking to you who's listening to this. And if you've made it this far into the podcast, it's because it's real to you. And you understand what I'm talking about because you've lived it. You're living it. You know you'll live it again. 
So episode 64 is about that. Face forward, head down, into the tension because the tension and the friction produces growth. I hope that's good clarity for you today. I hope that's good clarity for you as you move forward. And I hope you can refer back to this to just encourage you that the friction is okay. And that's it. I can't tell you how grateful I am that you spend any time with me, this podcast, this community. Um, And you know, I want to do something different with the audio, the audio uh, version of this. There's really no feedback mechanism, so there's no way for you to respond to what I'm saying um, on the podcast. So if you want to respond or have a question or a comment or an encouragement to the community, um, hit me up on Twitter and we'll make Twitter kind of the official conversation spot for this podcast at Paul the Daily D-A-L-Y. We'll make that the conversation point so that we can encourage one another, so that we can move forward together and so that we can grow together. Thank you so much for watching, listening, uh, following on any of the social media platforms I put uh, content out on. I put it out on just about all of them, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, on Spotify for the podcast now, YouTube, just trying to connect, trying to do my best uh, to contribute in some way. So I hope that's the clarity, pursue clarity community, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. And you know, I think it's really funny that we recorded this next to a Denny's. Because if you followed, come on, where's the Denny's? Oh, we can't get the sign because the camera is locked up. Oh, well. I'm going to get it. I got to move the camera. Talk to you later.